So we have finally made it to the Amazon jungle and we are starting our trip out in Iquitos. It is lunchtime right now and we are starving from a full day of travel. So we found a little place. It is called, what's the name of this? The Yellow Rose of Texas, which I know does not sound very Peruvian, but they specialize in food from the Amazon region. We've ordered some paiche, which is a traditional fish from this area, and we're going to be having it two different ways, so the food will be coming soon. Gracias. So Sam over here has been pretty excited about trying baiche ever since my grandma told him about it, about this fish from the jungle. So what can you tell us about it? Yes, yeah, so I've been researching a little bit <laughs> online about it. So it is native to the Amazon, which mm -hmm. is really cool. And it's huge fish. It's in fact, it's one of the biggest freshwater fish in the world. It can grow up to three meters mm -hmm. in length. And gracias. Gracias. <laughs> and something else really cool is that it's called a bony tongue fish. And its tongue is thought to have medicinal properties Ooh. by natives. So. I wonder what kind of property. <laughs> yeah. So for our beverage, we asked the waitress, what's the traditional juice we can have? And she suggested Cocona. Yeah, Cocona. And which we've never heard of before. Never heard of before. And we're not sure there's even an English equivalent for this. There probably isn't. Yeah. And we're not necessarily the most adventurous travelers, but we are adventurous with our taste buds. Yes. So we will try this here. Always with food. Mm, smells kind of citrusy. Well, oh wow, it's super sweet. It kind of has like, it, it's really strange. It kind of has almost like a, a milky taste as well. Like, mm. And it has a strong sort of nectar taste. Like it's, it's almost a little bit like pineapple, but something a lot milkier. Ooh. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow, I do like it though. So now my dish is here and I'm going to be trying something called patarrasca de paiche. And if you take a look at my plate, it's basically the, the paiche served as a filet. It's been cooked, kind of like steamed in this leaf. And on top of the fish, you can see some onions, tomatoes, and it also has a little bit of cilantro. We've got some lime here, which we can try and squeeze. Squeeze that on. That's a little messy. Got most of it on my fingers, like lotion. <laughs> and then I also have this spicy ahi sauce. So you know how we ordered a juice of cocona? This is the fruit it's made with. And they've also used it to make a, a spicy ahi. So this is like a spicy sauce, but that also has the same fruit in it. Um, so yeah, let's just load it up. Do you agree? Yeah. Oh yeah, just load it up on there. I like my spice. Load that spicy up. So okay. let's see. So let's try a bite. I wonder if it has bones or is this is this a boneless fish? I forget. It probably does have bones. Big bite here. Mmm. How's that? Yeah, it's really good, you know? We were saying the bite was a little bit chewy with the, the chicharron, the fried one, but it is so soft with you if you have it steamed. Like it just breaks apart with your fork. And I really like that you can taste the, the cilantro because that's one of my favorite spices ever. Or herbs rather. Going in so, for yeah. a second bite. That's mm -hmm. how we know it's good. It is wonderful. I'm loving it. Chicharron de paiche. Yeah. Look at so that. So the paiche chicharron. So I've just got myself a piece here. And as you can see, it's, it's breaded. And it's just time to, to try that. Breaded and fried. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Really, really crispy on the outside. And it's strange. It, it almost tastes a little bit more like chicken than it does typical fish. Yeah. It's it's a bit of a chewier fish, wouldn't you is. say? It really is. It's it's like it's something in between the texture of a fish and, and a piece of chicken. It's, mm -hmm. it's really unique. I guess it's a it's quite a large mm. fish, so the meat is probably a bit tougher for that reason. And it came with some red onions. Yep. Which 
which I love. But over there in the back, we have Maduros Fritos. And Maduros Fritos are basically like plantain. Like yeah. sweet, ripe plantain that's been sliced and fried. I can't wait to try this. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Really, really sweet. And it's not crispy at all. It's fried just so that you kind of, I think it brings out more of the sweetness of the plantain. Yeah, it's almost a little bit caramelized. Right? It is. I mean, this almost feels like I'm having a, like, a little bit of dessert with mm. my fish. And we almost forgot the yuca fries. Yeah, so this came with the chicharron. We were able to order a side. And yuca, it's kind of like, like a root, a very fibrous root, almost like a potato, and it's yellow and it's cooked fried here. It's really good. They're like almost like wedges, so they're like super, super thick fries. Bigger yeah. than our fingers. Goes really well with the bite chip for sure. So this is what we call the sign of a satisfying meal. Empty plates. Are you sure it's a care of that? This was my first time trying food from the Amazon, food from the Peruvian jungle. I have loved this meal. It's been amazing and I can't wait to see what we have next for dinner and lunch tomorrow and then dinner and then the following day. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it.